Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $101,541.26. In the past year, I am up $26,529.56. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $9,601.88. Today was a very green day for me. During the day, I was up $2,284.80. After hours, I am up another $446.04. So overall, around $2,500 up today. Now, I have lost a lot of money in the past month due to this drop right here, this sharp drop. I was at like one hundred six, dollars around $106,000. And then all of a sudden, August 1st, and then BAM, went all the way down to 84k. But since then, I've steadily gone back up again. Now I'm above 100k again. And uh, yeah, so I've made up most of my losses that I experienced during this sharp drop here. I'm still red for the month though. In the past month, I'm still down over $1,000. However, I'm very grateful for all the money I've gained back um, since this this area right here. All right, let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, I am down $21. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire August 30th. My total return, Four dollars. I'm selling Google one hundred seventy dollar covered calls. These expire August thirtieth. My total return I am down twenty nine dollars. I'm selling SoFi eight and a half dollar covered calls. These expire August thirtieth. My total return I am down sixty dollars. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, $8. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $74. I'm selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $170. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $630. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,120. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $703. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $450. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,776. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $178.79. My average cost, $98.94. My total return, $23,922.16. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.48. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $11,140.80. I have 400 shares of Disney. 
Disney is at $90.88. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $9,352. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $167.55. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,507. This is a margin account. My margin total is $90,468.27. My margin used is $57,666.21. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $10,802.06 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $31,487.86. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $10.25 and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So I'm so happy with the fact that my portfolio has made a swift recovery after the drop in the past month. And I did get one comment from one of my videos recently. Elmo862931 says, nice. How many years have you been investing to reach over 100K? Now the thing is, it's complicated because this has not been a linear path. It's been a roller coaster ride. It's been up and down. So, how many years have I been investing? That's a great question. Um, I would say about a decade now. So, about ten years, I think. And like I said, it's not a linear path to 100k because I've been up here before. I lost all my money, and then I came back up here again, and now. Recently, I lost like, you know, about 20,000 and now I'm back up again. So it's been up and down. It hasn't been a linear, you know, journey. And I want to show you guys something. This is evidence to you guys. You can actually go back and look at this. But um, this was back in the end of 2021 when I lost pretty much all my money. As you can see, I only have about $5,000 in my account. And all I had were my BABA options. Uh, I had some Boeing, you know, call debit spreads and... A bunch of you know, Alibaba uh, call debit spreads and some Bumble too. Um, but yeah, most of what I had was all in on uh, just Baba. And I lost pretty much everything because the market in general crashed really, really hard, um, including Alibaba. So it went way below my um, strike prices I chose. So I ended up losing a lot of money. And like I said, I went down to $5,000. And this was, as you can see, December 21st, 2021. So December 2021, at the end of uh, 2021, that's when I posted this update. And since then, it's been about less than three years, right? Because it's not December yet. It's still August. But I would say about two and a half years uh, from this point, I got back up to above 100k again, so about two and a half years it took me to get from 5k to over 100k. And um, like I said, it's been a bumpy ride. It hasn't been a straight path upwards uh, to where I am now. And even from here, like, I don't know what's going to happen from here. Is, are things going to crash again? This year has been very, you know, up and down, very bumpy, so... My investing journey, my investing path, it hasn't been simple. It's been very all over the place, you know. Um, but I'm happy that I am where I am now, at least. We'll see what happens going forward. But yeah, it's it's not been a smooth ride for me. Anyways, I think that's all I have to report for this uh, update. Uh, I do have four new positions, my covered calls. My old covered calls expired last week on Friday, so I opened up a bunch of new ones today. And they expire at the end of next week, so we'll see what happens. I'll keep on making more portfolio updates so you guys can see what's going on with my portfolio. But uh, I guess that's it for this video. 
If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will keep on making more of these type of videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.